Here at ONS 2010, we're speaking now with one of the presenters, Wendy Vogel, who presented on REMS 101, another acronym with high priority. Wendy is an oncology nurse practitioner from the Kingsport Hematology Oncology Associates Practice in Kingsport, Tennessee. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So your presentation, uh, in reviewing that, let's start with what are REMS? REMS is something that every oncology nurse needs to know about. It stands for Risk Evaluation and Mitigation Strategies. This is something that the FDA is now requiring on many of our oncology medicines, non-oncology medicines as well, but there are some that oncology nurses need to know about. What do REMS include? There are several elements to REMS. It may be as simple as giving out a medication guide to inform the patient of risk associated with that medicine. It could be as complicated as a procuring system where you have to go through a certain pharmacy, prescribers have to go through certain education and be uh, certified, if you will, to give this medication. Pharmacies also have, may have to go through the same process. So it's a limited access program to its greatest extreme. Can you give examples of a drug or drugs that require REMS? Probably the one that most of us are familiar with are thalidomide and uh, Revlimid, two of the ones that we've had a REMS on for quite a while, where it is a limited access system. Only certain prescribers who've completed education, who have, have been put on a list, if you will, of, of, uh, of prescribers are able to prescribe it. We're only able to get the drug through certain pharmacies. You have to have a uh, number assigned to each prescription for that patient to be able to fill it. So those are the, the most ones that we know about. Now there's some new ones out like opioid medications. On Solace is a new transmucosal uh, drug. It now has a REMS. So to be able to prescribe that drug, I or a physician would have to be certified to prescribe that drug, meaning I'd have to go under a, a certain uh, educational things, complete a test, and be on the list of prescribers. We're gonna see more and more of these. Drugs that we see in the clinic that would affect the oncology nurse every day might be that they're giving out a medication guide to every dose, every time that dose is prescribed to a patient. That's gonna be causing some changes in our everyday operating system. When we educate patients, we're going to be going through these medication guides with them and they're scary. It's not always a good balance of risk and benefits. It's designed to inform the patient of the risk of that medication. So they are scary. I've had patients after seeing that REMS refuse to take a medicine. So it's going to be a, a fine line of balance for the prescriber and the oncology nurse to help the patients understand those. Why is it important for oncology nurses to know more about REMS? Ignorance is no excuse. When, when we give this medication, whatever it may be that has a REMS, we need to be aware of what the REMS include. And there can be a lot of different elements. Some of them are just communication plans, whereas the, the manufacturing pharmaceutical company will send out a dear doctor letter, a dear prescriber letter. They'll send out a dear facility letter, perhaps, warning on how to prescribe it, what the risks are. To the greatest extreme would be what we described with thalidomide and, and Revlimid, where it's a limited, restricted access to the medication. But oncology nurses need to be very aware of this. This is a system designed to protect the patient, to make sure that the appropriate drug is prescribed at the appropriate time and, to, and that informed consent actually goes on. The erythrostimulating agents, the ESAs, are some of the newest ones to have a REMS now too. We give ESAs in the clinic every single day, but an ESA with the REMS is going to require changes in our practice. Wendy, congratulations on your presentation Thank and you. thanks for sharing some of it with us. Thank you very much. Wendy Vogel, one of the presenters here at ONS 2010 on Ocuview.tv.